Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my Louis Vuitton sunglasses case in the MM size. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is show you the proof of purchase. So everyone wants to see this and I'm guessing that's just to kind of prove that it's real. Um, I did order this through my sales associate back in Austin, Texas. And after I'm done doing the review, I'll tell you kind of what happened. So you don't have to sit through that first. But this is the proof of purchase. And it came with this. This is from the domain in Austin, Texas. And it cost me $2.95. And then after taxes, it was $306.51. So it's a little bit expensive for a sunglasses case, but my husband actually got it for me for um, my birthday this year, which is in October. But he said I could have it now because they were, or they're going to be discontinuing it. It was sent in this box right here. They did not send it with the cord around it, and they didn't do any sort of awesome gift wrapping, which I was really hoping that they would, but it just came like this. And in the dust, I mean in the box, there was the dust bag, just the normal one that it would fit in. And I've already taken it out, so I should put that over here. So this is the sunglasses case in the MM size. It's pretty awesome. It is, let's see, I wrote this down, three and a half inches across and seven and a half inches tall. This is what it looks like. Um, I really like how the LVs are perfectly placed in the middle. I think that's pretty awesome. And um, let's see, there's something cool else cool on here that I can't remember what it was. Sorry if I'm sniffing. I've just been sick lately. That's why I look like crap. <laughs> so um, the little snap part I think is pretty cool because I just really like the shape of it. I don't really know why. I really am into details of stuff, but I thought the shape of that was really cool. And on the little rivet thing, it does say Louis Vuitton. And inside, you can't really see it, but it's right there. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And my date code is SN2185. So it was made the 28th week of 2015. So this actually never even went to the store. It had to be ordered for me. Okay, so here's... I have a few things that I not really sure about on this that kind of bother me a little bit. Um, these are my sunglasses. These are just some coach sunglasses and um, my husband actually got me this case because I finally got prescriptions put in my sunglasses because I can't see far and I can't really wear contacts because they hurt my eyes. So it's like I either wear my glasses but then when I drive it's so sunny and here it's really sunny and when it snows I can't see. <clears throat> so we needed something to put, I, I needed, not we, I needed something to put my sunglasses in and keep them safe. And the big thing that, the big holder that the sunglasses come in is just too big and heavy. So, and I never wanted to carry that with me and I ended up just like always putting this, um, I would hang it from like the D-ring in my Neverfull or I would find something to hang it on. But I don't want to scratch them now because they are um, prescription and that just costs too much money. So he got me this. The thing that I was having a problem with was, so... Um, I ordered this and then I got it in the mail and then uh, they actually the next day my sunglasses were finished and they came in so I went to pick them up and I put them in you know they fit whatever but then I went to take them out and put them on and you can still kind of see it a little bit how one side's bigger than the other when I put it on my head I have to like squeeze it to my head it's like almost like these are too tight or it's too tight for my sunglasses and it seems to like squish them because I kept going back and the girl kept fitting this she was fitting this and I mean I would sit there and it would be nice and tight on my face but then I'd you know and I'd leave I'd wear them whatever I'd put them in here then the next day I'd go to put them on my face I'd look down and they just fall right off so I've kind of just now I put them on and I squeeze them to my head but I don't know if it's this case so I put them in here um, with the uh, ear part, whatever you want to call that, facing out. So it goes in like this. And they go in there good. They fit good. You can see down there. That's how they fit in there. And I do always snap it. So it does this on the side. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that, but seeing as they fit in there perfect, I don't see how they would fit any other way. Unless you had really small glasses, but then that'd be like the really thin kind. So, I, I don't know. So, uh, I don't have any like pros or cons on this, I guess. Um, pro maybe that, you know, it's 
feels pretty sturdy. The canvas is really thick. The inside is really that really soft, suede feeling. Um, but the definite con would be I don't know if it's squeezing my sunglasses so tight that it is misshaping them. Um, I'm not going to return it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it probably forever. Um, regardless of what it tends to do, I'm going to keep it. So, but that's it. There's not really too much to say about it, unfortunately. I know it does come in the Damier um, Azure. I don't think it comes in the bin pattern. If it does, I haven't seen it. Um, I don't know if it's going to come in anything anymore. So, the story on when I got it, it was really frustrating because my husband told me since it's a milestone birthday that, you know, he was getting it for me and, you know, to take care of my glasses and everything. <clears throat> so, I was really excited. I had already been looking it up. And the funny part was, is that day before he said, you know, go ahead and get it, um, I actually called the store close to here, which is an hour and a half away, because I was going to be going up there. So, I wanted to see if they had it. And I called and I talked to a lady. And my last name is hyphenated. So, they're both my husband's last names. And they're both hyphenated, which is always a problem. And uh, so, I called and the lady was like, you know, I asked her if they had it. No, they didn't have it in stock. She said, they do have it in blah, 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 wherever. And she's like, and it could be ordered. She said, let me look you up. So I told her my name. She's like, I can't find you. It's like, well, when we first moved here in October, um, we drove up there in February. And that's when I got my bandeau and I got my luggage tag. So I purchased something there. And they put me in the system. And when I had that other cell so she was so sweet and you know, blah, blah, blah. This lady was like, I can't help. I can't find you. And I'm like, okay. So um, she was like... Can't, and I told her I purchased something there and she was like, well, can you call back and tell us what it says on your receipt? I'm like, okay, that's weird. Yeah, sure. She was like, well, and after you do that, then we'll have to transfer you to the other store and your, your account will have to be approved before you can, we can, they can order it for you through the mail. I'm like, I go, approved? I was like, what are you talking about approved? And I was like, like that I spend so much there? And she was like, well, yeah, kind of. And so I was like, so should, do I need to find a receipt from like a bag I purchased to show that I've spent more money? She's like, yeah, that'd be a really good idea. Okay, so that's rude. Um, I don't know why that should even matter. So I'm like, kind of like, I was like, oh, okay, well, thank you. You know, have a good day. And then I'm like, screw you. So my husband said that, whatever. I'm like, okay, awesome. So I called my cell associate from Austin, Texas, that helped me when I bought my band, or my, no, my bandolier. Sorry, when I said call back with that. But <clears throat> so I called her because she was awesome because I was like mega pregnant when I bought my bandolier. And, you know, she had a hot stamp for me, she did all this stuff for me. And my uh, daughter, who was three at the time, was in there with me. She was nice to her. She was just a sweetheart. Her name was Rocio. And um, that's in Austin, Texas, at the Domain. Not the one in Sex Fifth Avenue. This is the one in the Domain. So it's a standalone. It's right next to Neiman Marcus, but it's its own store. Um, so I called her, and she found my name like that. She found my name, and she found all seven accounts that I have, and didn't act like a bitch about it. Like, she was like, yeah yeah, we can order that for you. Let me just, let me see. She didn't even look to see if another store had it. She was like, I will, I will find it and I will, I will get it for you. So I gave her my card information or whatever. And she ended up, um, calling me later the next day. And she said that she had found it and it was like in the warehouse or whatever that might be. She had to actually order it and then, um, have it sent. So she had it sent to her and it made it there. I think I called her on like a Wednesday and she got it on Friday and then she sent it to me. And I think, it only took like two days to get to me. So that's my, that really made me angry because it's like you have to prove that you've spent money to spend money. Like that doesn't make any sense. So if I had never, like if I went through them and didn't go through her in Austin, like if I had never bought anything and someone's like, oh, I want to spend $300 only for a sunglasses case, they're not going to sell it to me because I haven't previously purchased anything expensive. That's pretty awful. I don't. I thought that was really bad customer service. Like, I I don't even know what to think about that. Like, I can't believe how rude she was to me. Like, just because she couldn't find me in the computer. It's like, you don't know what I have. You know, what if I'm mega rich and, like, this is just my first time buying something? I'm sorry. You know, I'm not. But it doesn't matter. Like, I could be. You don't know. That's why you should treat people with respect. You don't have to treat people like that. I think that's pretty awful. So that was my little review and my little rant. I'm really sorry. I have no one else to tell. You know, I can't really tell my husband because he just doesn't get it. Like, he thinks it's stupid to spend this kind of money on luxury goods, which, and I guess it is, but to me, everyone has, everyone has their own thing. He likes, you know, video games. He's a grown man that likes to play video games. Like, everyone likes to spend their money on stuff, and I've always liked to spend mine 
on purses. Like, I don't like to spend a ton of money on clothes. Like, I'd rather go to Forever 21 and get some awesome stuff from there and have a really nice bag to carry around and hold all my stuff in. That's just how I've always been. I don't know. Like, I will save up. If I really want something, I will find a way to get it. So, that is it. This is the Louis Vuitton sunglasses case in the MM size. There's the MM and the PM. I think I forgot to say that. The PM pretty much, um, when I asked everyone like pros and cons, what size do you get because I didn't see it in person. Everyone said get the size. They said the um, PM will only hold your actual glasses. So if you're thinking about getting that one, only get your glasses. Um, <clears throat> another reason I didn't order it um, online was because when I went, to, went on there, it said you had to call to purchase. So, um, this, my sales associate in Austin, she did tell me that um, she thinks that they are discontinuing it. And now when you go on there, I know they brought it back a few times where it says, you know, add your basket. But now it's back to call to purchase. And I've heard a lot of people say that they're on a wait list. So if you are thinking about getting one, now is probably the time to get one. I know you can randomly find them on Fashion File. Um, but I think it's kind of been rare that I've seen them on there now. Especially because everyone wants them. It's kind of the it thing to get because Jerusha got one and when she gets one I mean she because you don't always know about everything but then when these YouTube people get them you're like well that's kind of cool like I never would have thought to get to that and seeing as the fact like I don't go to the store because it's too far away like I don't get to see those things so it's kind of fun when I find out you know and then how much these people love them I'm like okay well I would love it too so I was really excited that I got to have it and I really like it. It sucks that I'd go through the drama for it, but it's okay because she was really sweet. And I, so if you're going to Austin, she's awesome. You should go see her or anybody in that store. They've, they've always been really nice whenever I've bought anything there. So I hope that everyone has a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want any extra pictures of it or like better pictures of my sunglasses or something, you know, if you're thinking of buying one, anything that might help, just let me know. Um, and I don't mind you know, sending you anything you want if you want to see it. So, hope everyone has a great day.